morning. Morning. It's Sunday, 25th, 25th yeah. of July 2021. It's about just gone half past six in the morning. We want to leave early, well, as early as we're allowed to on a campsite. We've got to drive to, well, eventually end up at Edinburgh. No, Glasgow. Edinburgh, what am I talking about? Glasgow. <laughs> Strathclyde Country Park. Strathclyde Country Park, that's right. Um, but we are hopefully um, going to look for a whole load of Andy Scott. Andy Scott's um, sculptures, you call them. Mm, so if you don't know who Andy Scott is, he is the one who made the horsey head things. The Kelpies. That's it, the Kelpie. <laughs> the Kelpie's at Falkirk. Yeah. Um, uh, but he's, yeah, he's also made hundreds of other ones and we've like been online and we found quite a few of them. So we've uh, plotted them on the map and we're going to be the next few days really, isn't it? Find as many as we can. As yeah. many as we can. Um, we've got a couple more on the, and then there's a couple more on the way home. Like Falkirk and Edinburgh way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just also at the campsite. It's a nice campsite. Um, it's no internet. Well, for our phones anyway. If you're on a different network, it might be different. But uh, it's a really nice campsite. There's bird feeders dotted everywhere, and we've just um, saw we just saw two greater spotted woodpeckers on the feeders on the trees. Took some photos, but they were rubbish. Um, so that's why. Anyway, I didn't um, show you the map, so I'm going to turn you around and show you the map. Okay, so this is the map of Scotland. So we left home from Plymouth and we travelled up to the Malvern Hills um, club site, Batteries Low. Met Smithy yesterday. Tonight, or well, last night, we were at Englethwaite Hall, which is there on the big map of Scotland now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I think we're going there and there. I can't remember. Um, so that's our map of loveliness. The end. See you later. See you later. Later. Bye.
I can't see the screen. I think I've got it in. Uh, we've come to Motherwell. Wishall in Motherwell. Uh, Wishall in Motherwell. To uh, so the first of our sculptures by Andy Scott. Um, so this one is called Steel Man. The Steel Man or Steel Man. It seems to be different ways. And it's to commemorate all the workers that were killed or injured in industrial accidents in the steel trade because this was the site of the Raven's Creek Steelworks which was the largest steelworks in the world. And there's lots of people killed. No. Well, killed and injured a bit. Killed and injured. Yeah. Because it's a man pouring molten metal and it flings from the top and then it's sparking as it's on the floor. Okay, let me turn you around. So, there we go. It's got flames at the top, look. And the, whatever that is. Molten metal. Molten metal. Swooshing down. Swish hitting the ground. Spark. Hitting the ground. But, I mean, look at, look at the deep zone, if you can see. I'll, I'll take a photo of it, but. On his face. On his face. There we are. Oh, it's got a silhouette now, isn't it? There we go. Take some photos as well. Hello. So we've now driven 18 miles up the M8, was it? Or as I like to call it, the mate. Um, to Cumbernauld. Ooh, dear. Cumbernauld. And there's a whole load of Andy Scott sculptures here. We've just come to this one, which I'll show you in a minute. And it's right by the motorway, but we had to drive through um, it's a massive cemetery this is like just a little bit of it a massive cemetery what's the cemetery called hey i think he said eastfield um eastfield eastfield <laughs> eastfield and yes yeah, huge cemetery it's really lovely cemetery and i'm now going to turn you around um you have to excuse her bum so this is Aria or Aria, I don't know how you would say that. A R R I A. Let me just turn you around and you can see the whole thing. You can, you can. Right, there she is. Don't look at her bum too much. So she's got three hands or four hands? Four. Four hands. There's one at the front, is there? Anyway, see how she, she's massive. So Aria was married to Hadrian. Hadrian of Hadrian's War fame. Um, and she's got two children in Cumbernauld as well and her children look towards where she is so we're going to find those in a second what's it say watershed cur god I can't read watershed watershed come come out the first sounds spoken from the springs core are of a new beginning of people and place a poetry that bubbles and barns and and gargles to the surface to leave this watershed flow oh my goodness me east and west and east and west in a rush of words that tumble and fall to join whoops the conversations of two great rivers a voice calling out I belong, I belong, adding to the language of sea and ocean. Beautiful. That is like impressive. Don't look at a bum. That is beautiful. So let's go down here. Oh, hello. Oh my lordy. Wow. There you go. What's that on her leg? I don't know. As you can hear, the road is right behind us. So I'm going to take some photos for you now. Oh, you... God, it's been bitten by a blinking horsefly. I have really bad reactions to them. <sighs> blinking out, that did. I felt it before I saw it. Anyway, isn't she beautiful? Oh, go away. <laughs> I don't like it here. There. Right, let's go and find your children, maid.
There we are. That's the other side. You are! Oh yeah, it's that bit come off it. Anyway, there is a webcam over there we've just seen on the on the ground on that on that box. <laughs> Go and give a wave. <laughs> yeah, let's wave to the webcam. Probably get arrested. I'm just being friendly. Let's give it a wave. Yeah, I've done it. Give it a thumbs up as well. Right, that's that. Right, let's go and find your children then. And wave into the camera. <laughs> yeah, so this is the bottom part of the cemetery. Um, there is like a road that goes all the way around it and then at the bottom of it, at this little bit of the cemetery of the cemetery, there is a tiny car park. Being a Sunday, there's not very many people around. I keep being bitten. There we go. Okay, so we've driven around the houses to get across the M8. E. M80. I think. Yeah, 74, and to find oh, Vertru Vertruvian, Vertruvian boy. boy, which is one of her children. And he is exactly across the other side of the M88. No, the M80. And he's exactly, exactly north south. Well, they're exactly opposite each other anyway. And it's, he's between a block of flats in the middle of uh, Cumbernauld. Fleming Road? It does say Fleming Road. Yeah. So, turn you around. The M88 is down there somewhere. Aria was like there. And if you turn exactly this way, there he is. By the road, can't really see him because the sun's right behind him. But I'm also a bit wary about filming people's houses and stuff. Was he called Vertruvian Boy? Let's try and get him that way. Nah, it's no good. It's not coming out very well. Sorry. Maybe a photo would be better. Well, that's disappointing. We found where Vertruvian Girl is in Cumbernauld. Beechwood Court um, and it's just her feet there. I'm just going to get out and show you but it's just her feet and it's all fenced off. It's a bit sad. Let's get out of the van and show you. Look! It's just her little feet. Ooh, nice. Nice lot of crap around here. Shame! Yeah. Okay, so we're still sort of in Cumbernauld and we've driven south again. It's sort of a straight line, but not a straight line as you're driving because that would be going over houses and stuff, which would be really silly to think to do. Um, anyway, so this is what is this factory? It's an industrial estate. The Highland Colour Coating um, Factory. And this is Red Stag. It's slightly different to the other ones because it's in sort of like thinner strips and it's red because it's a red stag. Funny that. So let me just turn you around. Oh, you have to excuse the railings. There he is. I'm going to see if I can get a better, a better picture of it. I have no idea what you can see because I've put it on the thing. Oh, I could pass you the camera. Okay, I'm passing you over. I'll hold the monkey. Is it on? It's on. R recorded. Recorded. Yeah. Okay, so we are still sort of Cumbernauld still, yeah. and this is Honeysuckle Drive. Honeysuckle Drive in Cumbernauld. Quite a posh little housing estate by the looks of it. Anyway, this is I've forgotten Corbus. Corbus, and it's a red setter. Red setter. I was going to okay. say, is it red set? I'm assuming it's a red setter. There's only dog that I know that's red. Yeah. Um. Anyway, there it is. Let me turn you around. Okay. There we go. Uh, you can sort of see it better this way. The other side is you can't really see as as much. But there he is. Get right into the sun now. 
There we go. Rough. Rough, rough. No. Okay. Oh. okay, so we've driven oh, six miles? No. No, 14. 14 miles um, to Easter House in Glasgow. So this is another Andy Scott sculpture. Um, and I forgot what Easter House Phoenix it's called. So let me turn you around. Just about make it out in front of the trees. There we go. It's beautiful. I have no idea where I said that. You know, I can't see what I can see. Right, we've come about half a mile. Uh, on the other side of the motorway. On the it? other side of the M8 mate motorway um, to Heavy Horse. So we've parked in um, an industrial estate. There is a lot of um, work going on and machinery going on. And we're hoping there is a path that goes around and leads to it. So it is sort of in there. Oh, oh no, you can't go on this! Can you? Oh, we're doing something naughty! Oh, there he is! Right, let me just turn you around. <laughs> right. So, this is Heavy Horse. Clydesdale, Shire Horse. Clydesdale, Shire Horse. I don't know if you're going to hear over that noise. Oh, he's even got his like main thing when they tie him up in little bow. Pom -pom. <laughs> little bits of ribbon or whatever it is but made out of steel as you can see he's right by the mate road Aww. oh Glasgow Glasgow Business Park oh that's loud Whew. Right, okay, I've forgotten where we've come. It was about where have we come? Bran, Bran or Crown? Cran Hill. Cran Hill. Um still in um oh god. Glasgow. Um so there's a massive great big water tower behind me and under this water tower which is heavily guarded by railings are neptune there's five of them all together neptune the sub sirens and i don't mean wow wow anyway um was it neptune what three sirens and a mermaid so let me just turn you around okay i don't know if you're going to see neptune there's neptune there with a little fish on the wall and then down the side here there's nothing on the other side are some other ones let's go okay, and get those you can see there's a siren there and one in the middle and one on the end let's just go past a little bit oh see there's the mermaid that's not the mermaid that's another siren 
Um, yeah, you go in the park to see the mermaid. Yeah. Another siren. Uh, let's go to the. I don't know if I can get mermaid because I can't get past these bushes. Hang on, let's put you on the extension. There we go. What are you doing? No. What? Have you not? Have they done this one? Well, if you do this one, it's in the middle. Unbelievable. Um, I don't know if you can see it because I cannot see what you can see. Um, we've come to. Uh, west of Scotland Science Park, Kelvin Campus. Okay, went all the way around the houses to get here. It was a nightmare. Uh, at the last um, statues, where there's like statue sculptures, whatever they're called, where there's five of them, Neptune and all that, it was a little bit, bit dodgy there, wasn't it? Yeah, and we actually witnessed a drug deal take place. Anyway, That's so the spiral of life. this Have is the that? no, I haven't. This is the spiral of life. Yeah. Let's turn you around. Oh, a little pretend it will be. Turn so, you around. Is this any like just the spiral of life? Yeah. As it does what it says on the tin. Oh, so it's coming out of the, the spiral. It's, it's, it's continuous. <laughs> yeah. Spiral. Yeah, I see. Spiral up around, back down into the spiral, up around, back down into the spiral, and so on until the end of time. Um, there's a rugby match or something going on there. Let's get across here. Oh, still can't really see it. No. Um, anyway. Is that a little bit better? It's quite high up. There's no point really going around the other side, is there? So you don't look at his bum. There we go. And we've parked there. There is a car park, but the barrier is half up, half down. Sun shining on him better that way, but that's the back. Hey, there we go. Okay, we've come. Oh God, I have no idea where we've come now. We're still in Glasgow. Down near the old harbour. Don't need the old harbour. Don't know. What's this one called? Rise. Rise! Let's turn you around. There she is, rising with big flappy things. It all it does look like a whale's tail. Yeah. I don't know if that's what it's meant to look like. Oop. Um Yeah, it looks like a whale's like so the whale's down there and that's his tail flipping up, but then it's turned into a person. I don't know. What's he doing? Ah. Aha, there's a placitation. It's just made up of all these bits welded together. Hello. There. <sighs> right, this is the last one we're finding today before we head for the campsite, which I've forgotten where it is. So this is, oh, it's a heron. I think he said Carmile heron or something. It's on a big tall plinth. If you see it, I can't see what you can see. Oh, there it is. There he is. Um, it's a heron. I'll turn you around properly now. There we go. Can't really see it properly from down here. You need to be sort of like level with it, doesn't you, really? Okay. Where's this? Carmile. It is Carmile. Right. That's. It's sort of like in a little. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. It's like a little nature reserve down here, isn't it? There's a river here somewhere, I don't know where. It is absolutely sweltering. Right. <laughs>
about quarter to seven in the evening. This is a brief tour of the um, Strathclyde Country Park Caravan and Motorhome Club site. That's the reception office there and information hut. It's a field here for tents and storage behind that. There's a facilities block there. I think that's more for the campers in the field, that one. All hard standing pitches down here. Another facilities block there. It's quite a big site. There's, um, I think there's about 90 pitches here. But it's quite quiet. There is, the main road does go along the back. But the trees shoot quite a bit of the noise. There's another facilities block there, a bigger one. With, a laundry, there's a motorhome waste disposal, drive over a grid there. It's right down here. Originally we pitched down there in the corner, but uh, the van next door to us, it was like being on a building site. Just hammering, cordless drills going, the radio going, get enough of that all week, don't want that on all day. We didn't say anything because of first, we just asked if we could move and went up the other end where it's a bit quieter. So we've now moved up here onto pitch 56. There's a signpost there for all the other Scottish club sites Silverbank, Stonehaven, we're going there, Marigarin. Four or five locks so we went last year, Edinburgh, we're going there. Clacken, I think we're going. Uh, Balbrani, we're going. Bunry, we went last year. And Air Craigie Guns, we went last year. Silverbank, Stonehaven, we're going.